they finally did it. Chris Sales and Leslie, Clarence's ex, got together. Now we knew they were gonna link up, eventually. Took them a year, but they did it. Leslie Enos uploaded a video called Getting to Know Chris Sales. Let's start off with the title. Getting to Know Chris Sales. Okay, so this is your video girl on your channel, but you're getting to know Chris Sales. I already don't like it. That looks narcissistic to me on Chris Sales' end. But let's go ahead and watch y'all and see what happens. Are y'all ready to react? Because I am. Let's get it. You know we were supposed to link up a long time ago. Yeah. And we never have, and she's finally here. She's finally here. She's in his home. He he did the introduction to her video. Girl. <laughs> Let me kind of split it there. Oh, man. I'm not going to look. I can't see you them. Definitely There's just no reason to, why I'm looking at questions. Before we put this question. camera on, you definitely try to... Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It's Leslie here. Back with another video with Chris Sick. They're already being playful. She cut his ass off just like that. He rolled his eyes. Oh, Lord. Here we go. <laughs> yes, sir. And we're going to be doing a... Get, she doesn't want to get to know me. Chris Sale. But she don't know me. Don't be asking me no More personal questions. Personal. Don't ask me no personal questions or I'm not answering or I'm leaving. You want to go first? Yeah, I'll go first. Wait, but this so is getting to know yeah, Chris. You, 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 it's not getting to know me. You need to ask me first. What's your favorite color? I no. must say, Leslie is a beautiful girl. Very pretty. Her body is actually natural. She loves to work out. She rarely wears makeup, which I appreciate because a lot of women out here, they be looking like clowns. I'm all for being artistic. I, I just like the natural thing a bit more. You so, guess, obviously, I don't know what this is. So. You guess first. Red. You think I'm a suit? <laughs> <laughs> a suit? A crisp blue. <laughs> it's blue. It's blue? Mm. It has to be one of them. Mm -hmm. It's blue. So I keep asking or you're gonna ask me one? I'm gonna ask you one back and forth. Alright, cool. Okay, where do you see yourself in 50 years? Okay, so the video is not about just Chris Sales. It's about both. Years. So I don't know why she titled it that way. <laughs> what the okay. hell? Okay. 50 years? Okay, I definitely was doing I see my, I don't know, married with kids? <laughs> okay, no. And I don't know. Okay, no, five years. Where do I see myself in five years? Still living in Florida. What? Is that Florida? <laughs> I just moved there. Okay, so she stay yeah, in Florida. I think I will still be in Florida, if not somewhere else other than New York. <laughs> Hey, I like New York. The way their culture, their hip hop culture. High school. <laughs> Did I graduate? No, that's embarrassing. <laughs> no, you didn't graduate. No, I did. Graduated. Uh, and I went to college for three years. Did you? Mm -hmm. I studied business and marketing. Did you for real? Yeah. What college? The Spring Harbor University. Okay. Why is that surprising? <laughs> did you for real? <laughs> Eh, yeah, that's surprising. So I went to college for three years. I dropped out my third year. Yeah. Yeah. Did you at least get an associate's degree? No, because I, I switched my major my second year. Oh. And so I switched it. So at first I was just there doing my main classes and then I finally figured out what I wanted to do was business. But that's a, I feel like it's a scam because business, you can learn that outside of school. Oh, what's your favorite? I agree. I went to college for business as well. It's pretty much common sense. And especially if you're if you're a hustler out in the streets to begin with, you don't need school for that shit. Business is pretty much how to manipulate people to buy your product. That's what that is. Designer, if you had to pick your go-to designer, if you can just get every designer, I mean, every... From that same designer? Yeah, you have to pick one designer that you would just rock. You got to rock one for the rest of your life. None of them for me. Probably Louis Vuitton. <sighs> what? Okay. Well, Dior. Thanks for asking. Too many people with the Dior. What? Too many people with the Dior. And Gucci. Like yeah. you today. <laughs> I don't know who Dior. I don't know who. That was fake. <laughs> How many siblings do you have? I have ten siblings. Seven. Damn. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. No, you don't. That's pretty good. 
damn, okay, so I'm really getting to know Chris Sales. I didn't watch Chris um, until after the breakup with Queen, so I don't know his true life. Damn. Yeah, so same mom, different dad. Okay. How many sisters? How many brothers? Slow it. DeAndre, Dwayne, Terrell, William, Anthony. Five. And four girls. Mercedes, Lenedra, Patricia, and Tamoya. Five. And where do they live? Here? In Detroit. Okay. Two of them stay here. I have zero. You're, You're the only child. Interesting. Well, that's why you act like that. Does <laughs> he want nobody want to be around you? I'm just fine. I'm just fine. He was spoiled. Mm -hmm. Of course. The only child. What do you expect? I don't like spoiled people. So Not that fun. every person has been spoiled if they're the only child, but it's most likely. I, mean, I don't act like that. Do you blame that. the parents? No, of course, course not. No. You make me open up your door today. If I only had one child, yeah, I'd spoil the <laughs> fuck out of them too. What is your dream job that you ever that you ever thought of? Maybe when you was younger. Um, being a lawyer. That's my dream job. Okay. Did you still like that? Probably not. Probably not. No. <laughs> what do you look for in a girl? For sure, personality. Cause I feel like if you don't have a good personality, I can't talk to you. No matter how good you look. Goofy. I just, I just can't. I'm guessing. I've always been like that. Yeah. But I can't have a girl with good personality and no looks. Of course, because you gotta be attractive. Personality, and I wake up and you look like a monster. I just, <laughs> I just can't do it. And then I look for juicy booty. I gotta have some juicy. Hey, yeah, it is what it is. Because if you don't, I'm not going. Like I can't wake mm. up and get no boner like off that. <laughs> like off you being skinny. Hey, listen. I love me a little thickums too. Okay, you gotta have a little bit of meat in the good in the right places. Cause, no, not really. No, I'm not no skin dress. I really don't need to care about that. As long as you're not, you know, just hygiene. Hygiene has to be on point. Dark hair. Face <laughs> oh my god. Right shirt. Stop it. Just stop. <laughs> Go with your question. You just stop the eyes going up and down. <laughs> Cut it. White socks. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, listen, we all knew Chris was gonna flirt with her. Ain't nothing new about that. Any pretty girl around Chris, he's gonna flirt with her. Ain't nothing special about this right now. For those who don't know who the hell these people are, let me explain a little bit. Chris Sales is Queen Nyjah's ex-boyfriend. Baby daddy. Leslie Enos is Clarence NYC's ex-girlfriend. Together for a long time. Now Queen Nyjah and Clarence NYC, they are together. They have a child as well. So their exes are here on this video flirting. Okay, imagine that, picture that. Some may think it's just to get back at them, you know, just to stab them a little bit. Some may think that may have been the case when it first, when they first started talking, but maybe something is brewing for real, for real between the two. All I know is that this is genuine flirting. <laughs> Okay, they flirting for real. A little mother on the cheek. Pink nails, pink toes. Oh, you gotta get them. Favorite movie. Stop looking at my I stuff. Thought I, I thought that said Fortnite. <laughs> I'm like, huh? Fortnite movie? Favorite my movie. Favorite movie is 8 Mile. Really? Yes. Why 8 Mile? Why 8 Mile? Yeah. I don't know. I, I know that movie by heart. Like, like the rap, lions you know on the raps too, it's girl. You out here movie. rapping. Yeah. <laughs> that movie. And on um, Save the Last Dance. That's another movie I like. This guy is a gangster. <laughs> He's so annoying. <laughs> no, that was an emo. Yeah, I know it was. Duh. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. Favorite movie. 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 I thought he was faking his voice. I thought he was saying it, he, I thought he was talking as a joke. Didn't realize that that's his actual voice. <laughs> and then Leslie, listen, I think Leslie is way too innocent for Chris, okay? Way too innocent. We all know Chris Sales has a history of abusing his girlfriends. It's out there. Do I think he's a changed man? No, 
Not at all. Just because someone is an abuser does not mean they're bad people. They just don't know how to deal with their emotions. The first thing they react on is their anger. And they don't know what else to do but hit the person that they love. It's a form of control. And that takes time to work on. It's a process. You need, you need healing. And I don't think Chris Sales is there yet. Do I think he wants to change? Yes, I do think so, but I don't think he's changed. Oh, yeah, you said. Yeah, you <laughs> what turns you off? Well, I'm gonna think I'm not gonna be in a box because when I hear that word, turn me off, I think the other stuff. So I think turning me off is, like, okay, can you kind of elaborate? Like, what do you mean turn off? Like, in the female, like, as far as, like, Probably what makes me not like her or, like, just answer the question however you Hi, choose to. Like I said before. Hi, and not admitting to when you're wrong. I, I, I hate it. Like, if we get into an argument, a dispute, not kind of argument, dispute, and you don't admit when you're wrong, I hate it. Because it's like, if I'm coming to you about a problem, I want you to fix it. That turns you off? Yes. But Leslie, what he's saying is accountability. If you can't hold yourself accountable for the things you've done wrong, that is a problem. That I would consider that a turn off too. You don't want to talk to the person no more? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's put the scenario where it's not your girlfriend. It's just somebody you're talking girl. to. A dating. Mm -hmm. um, and you're dating someone. What will what, what turn you off? I don't know. I haven't dated in a while, so damn. I haven't dated in a long ass time, so. Shit, I got a list of turn offs. <laughs> I bet you did, Leslie. Well, I can turn it off quickly. Okay, let me let me hear it. No, that's not one no. of your questions. <laughs> no, you can't add it. Yes, I can. Go, go. Next question. Ain't nothing turning you off. There's a lot of touching here, from both. A lot of touching. You know, when you get to touching, there's a little bit more than just friends type shit. <laughs> okay. Do you believe in God? And I don't think they've messed around yet when they when they filmed this video. Do I think that they will later? Yes, I do think so. I don't know when this video was filmed. They're probably already, you know, messing around right now. But from what I see, I don't think they've done anything yet. Of course they do. I grew up. Believing in God. Uh, believing in God, yeah, and going to church all the time, Monday through Sunday. Damn. My grandparents are ministers. <laughs> Damn. Oh, Chris, wrong family. Not no more, but, Chris, wrong family. Chris, wrong family to get into. Yes. And then for you. I was looking for one in Florida. So. That's good. Pentecostal. How about you? Do you believe in God? Yeah. He course. does. He does. You know, he does talk about God a lot. I don't believe he's active in the church community, though. You know, there's a difference, guys. You, you, can, you can believe in God, and then there's that other aspect where you're a church goer. <laughs> I'm not a church goer, but I do believe in God, so. Yeah. Do you go to church? I attempted to go last week. Attempt? On Sunday, but I didn't end up going so I, I literally typed in my GPS or this is true story. I typed in church. I found the church right by my house. When I got there, it was a school. <laughs> yeah, so I'm Wasn't guessing it was a church first, and then I mm. switched to a school. So I didn't end up we going. We drove by one. Hillside? Yeah. No. Y'all can yeah. go together. But yeah, I still haven't been to one. Take to him, him Leslie. Like, oh, oh, he needs some thing. healing. <laughs> you know that preacher? He's really good. No, because the churches I've been to is just Spanish. Oh. I haven't been to except Hillsong in Manhattan. Okay. Yeah. Like so church, she's Hispanic. I know what they yeah, say. I wouldn't mind going to an English church. I like if they go to Spanish, I'll just be clapping. Just look at look at Leslie already trying to. What's the word? compromise you know she's giving a little bit she'll 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 change a couple things for him she's only gone to spanish church she says she don't mind going to an english one <laughs> what is your favorite thing to eat my favorite thing to eat is soul food my mom's soul food Mm -hmm. And grandma sells food. Oh my grandma sells food. That's my favorite thing. Your mom lives and, here? No, she's oh. lazy in the machine. And my grandma peach cobbler. I mean, but not peach cobbler, but not a pudding. I'm hungry. Y'all better stop dad. with this. Please. This cake. This is so bomb. Okay. It's like I keep like strawberries and this is. I need the, to eat. This is Who's your love language? Oh, by the way, I have not had a homemade meal 
in six months, probably longer, eight months maybe. I eat out every day. I'm not complaining. I'm thankful to have the funds to, to provide my tummy with food. But man, there is a difference when it comes to buying out and to a home-cooked meal. If y'all are out there and y'all want to feed me, let me know. Especially going to be physical gifts. Um, where is the affirmation? My love language would probably be like taking initiative to do things. So like, if I had a long, hard service, day, active service, it, like, to make me feel better. Okay. That's active service. <laughs> I want to tell y'all what my love language is. Can I tell y'all? Please. Okay, I'm going to tell it. I'm going to tell it. My love language is physical touch, quality time, and words of affirmation. I need all that. <laughs> okay. No. That's nice. That's nice. I, like, I like someone to be super thoughtful. Okay, like, so if you go to work and you have a long day and I just... Or if I'm feeling bad or feeling sick or whatever, or anything. Just... In general, and you just do something really thoughtful and really nice. Like, like put rose petals and stuff on the ground. Make your bubble bath. Oh, God. Some little wine in there for you. Tell her everything you would do. Yeah. I like I like someone to be very thoughtful okay. and considerate. What pisses you off? Yeah, what pisses me off, like, in general, like, with anything? Anything. Mm -hmm. like, not a person, just anything. When people talk shit behind a camera, behind an app, that's what pisses me off. You mean when they oh, type their comments? Them. I know. Twitter fingers? Yeah, Twitter, Twitter fingers. Twitter fingers, I know. <laughs> they would never say to you in your face. What is your favorite sport? What happened here? So now you guys went from a camera to a phone. This is a phone. What happened? Second thing I noticed is, I know she flew to him, but is this his home? Or is this a hotel? Because they're talking really soft. And I don't know if they're talking soft because... They're at a hotel and they're not trying to make too much noise and it's probably late at night i don't know but maybe they're just talking soft because you know how y'all get when you want to flirt with somebody you just talk soft and you know sweet i don't know to watch or play y'all know me i look deep into things i don't just watch things from the surface to play and watch i want to know both my favorite sport to play is basketball my favorite sport to watch is basketball are you good mm -hmm. You wanna go hoop after this? We'll have to see. Not with me. I need to see you against other people, no, play, other competitors. I'll show you a video. I played against uh, Chris Brown and the Matrice Songs. I'm gonna show you the video on YouTube. Oh, for real? How did oh, I don't have to watch. Do you find me attractive? How did I <laughs> 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 Okay, what's your best feature of yourself? Um, my smile. Mm -hmm. She does have a nice smile. Yeah, well, <laughs> she does have a nice smile. <laughs> She's got nice lips. Thank you. Um, do you like watching shows? And if you do, what's your favorite show? So my favorite show, as of now that I've seen, I I definitely didn't watch TV. I didn't watch Netflix, TV, anything. I just started watching TV, like literally, like maybe a couple months ago, two months ago. And my favorite show is. How to get away with murder. I never got into that show. <laughs> that show was so good. Is that on Netflix? I tried no, no, no. getting into it, but I'm really not into that show at all. Okay, no. So, so I would have to choose between. So my old favorite show before that was Prison Break. That's my well, favorite that's show. Well, that's a good show. I like yeah. that show. That's my favorite I prefer show. to watch documentaries. Uh, what's how you go off about a guy? Okay, uh, hygiene. If your hygiene isn't up to par, big, <laughs> a big turn off. Teeth, if your teeth is not good. These are beautiful people, guys. Leslie, I already said, was pretty, but so is Chris Sales. <laughs> He's a handsome guy. He's got a nice smile as well. It don't matter if your teeth good or not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, look at all this touching, yo. Definitely. Cut that off. <laughs> Definitely teeth. Um, it's just so yeah, weird. your hygiene, you have to be clean. Yo, Clarence said he was going to react to this to their videos whenever they put them out. As of right now, I don't think he's put anything out yet. And I'm a couple days late. Let me see this real quick. 
Let me make sure. No, he hasn't posted yet. But when, maybe when I post this video, he probably already has. But oh my god. You have to take showers. You gotta smell good. Shower, That's a turn off. If you're not like, your hygiene What's the point of taking a shower though if you don't get dirty again? See that? And I'm not gonna lie to you. I did see Clarence react to their TikTok together. I, had, I did not read the comments. I don't know what other reactors said. My opinion, I think he cares. I think he doesn't like what's going on here because it's it seems like it's out of spite type shit and it's weird y'all this is weird this ain't this ain't normal <laughs> so if he cares it's it's okay to feel that but he's never going to say it he's never going to say it mentality right there is a turn off <laughs> doesn't mean it does not mean that he wants to get back with leslie none of that it's just weird long nails is a turn off <laughs> the long nails bad feet is a turn off <laughs> She snorts. He likes that shit though. She's his type, yo. He's her type too. Okay. Yo, imagine, imagine if they had kids, yo. If they, if they, all right, I'm thinking way too far ahead. I don't think it's gonna ever get that to that point, but. Imagine if they had kids, their kids would be half brothers and sisters with their ex's kids. <laughs> Yo. Oh, Moses. How That's many crazy. Countries have you visited? One. Mexico. Really? Me too. Why just one? Two for me. Mm -hmm. I that is weird because you got money to travel and you are an entrepreneur so you are your own boss and you can film anytime y'all should be traveling i've been to mexico and italy wanted to or desired to go to the country but i did go to are mexico crazy it's so beautiful right oh, you meet different kinds of people yeah. i've not been to london but i would love to visit oh, my, my mom said it's beautiful i want to go to london so bad i want to go to london too will you date a guy i will with no money yes she will what's define no money not broke, that I but... have to take care of him? Yeah, so okay, but check this out. It's not like it can't change. She can't get Girl, stop it. You dated a man who lived in his mama's basement. Stop it. Money or get a <laughs> Don't job. make that face. But he has a nice smile. Nope. He's tall. He has a nice smile. Listen to me before you start to yap in your mouth. <laughs> he has a nice smile. High jeans is on point. Well, he's, he's handsome to you, like sexy as hell. How, exactly how you want him. He. It depends how he treats me. That's that? what I'm about to say. He treats you very well. He doesn't cheat. He's loyal to you. Breath smell good every time you just. That sounds great to me. Okay. Finances ain't everyone. everything. So, as long as y'all ain't struggling, he just you know. Doesn't have no, no money. And he makes sure y'all go out on a date. And you now, when you when you're about to have a family with a person, though, like you, they need to put in work. Everything else is sweet and everything, but finances are gonna matter. For the shit. <laughs> He's so dramatic. Yeah. I don't know. We're going to have to fix the situation. He's going to have to get money. Because I can't not but be the so only one providing. That just, that just. But you know what? I was like that. I was like that. I'm not going to say that because back in the day when I was broke, my girl was going to work and she was the one providing. Mm -hmm. But boom, yeah, I, was, I, started like getting, I started getting money. Who y'all speaking of? Who are y'all talking about? <laughs> he said that his girl was the one providing. She said she was the one providing. Are y'all talking about Queen and Clarence? We all know that Queen was working two jobs at the time, so I think he's speaking about her. But when it comes to Clarence, girl, were you the one supporting him? Let us know everything, please. Spill that tea. So it's not, it's not so I feel like in a situation like that, it really depends on your mindset. If you know, cause shit, shit. I mean, yeah, because obviously if he's treating you good and it's everything you want and he's everything you desire, then you just help the person Grow. get there. Yeah, so help him out. Now she want to say, yeah, that's all. No, I didn't say no. I didn't even say no in the beginning. I said it all depends. Help him mm -hmm. out until they become I mean, great. if he's the type that doesn't want to do anything and doesn't want to work or try to get Lazy money, shit, then, no. cut him off. Right. I cannot provide... For the rest of our lives, yeah, that's, that's just retarded. And I am no longer doing that. I don't want to do that anymore. The women that I've been with, they helped a little bit, but I need someone to that can help out more financially. Because I noticed 
being with someone for a long time. The times that I was having hard times, struggling, it was, she couldn't really help. And it was very stressful. So I need someone to be, you know, on my level. Just on my level. No, it, this just depends on his, his mindset. Uh, his if mindset. he's trying to get money, you know, no matter what it is, okay, it's different. But if he's just lazy and doesn't want to work, yeah, then yeah. No. That's a no-no. Yeah. That's a no-no. Because no. I cannot be providing. Then what I have you for? Exactly be? that. No. That's it. You can get that no, from you anywhere. You can get that anywhere. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, my last question is kind of what you asked me. What is your ultimate goal in life? That was it. My goal in life, I want to get married. That's the goal. I want to have a family, a big family. And I want to leave out the country and go somewhere where it's no phones, no technology, no internet. I want to become a millionaire. Boom. You, could go, you could go out the country right now with no phones. Well, yeah, I want to go somewhere where it's the place where people are communicating, people are nice. It's like barely no technology. Well, it's kind of hard in this day and era where it's still really no technology, but... You get what I'm trying to say? Like, I There's a lot of places like, that big, like, go don't have it. Far, third world, third so world countries. And it's just me and my kids and my wife. And we just really, it's just us type shit. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So that's my okay. goal. Look at them eyes. Both of them so, flirting like, with their eyes and shit. This is it for our video? Yeah. <laughs> for my video. This was a good video. This was. Uh, it's going on my channel. I want to know what no, Chris Sells is going to no, post. This is on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And check out his channel because we got a few. We got videos on my channel too, guys. Yeah. So if you guys don't look at my channel. <laughs> JK. Chris is cool. Oh, yeah. He's a cool person. Literally cool. Okay. You know, okay, guys. Of course he you is. You know, we were supposed to link up a long time ago. Uh huh. What happened? And we never have, and she's finally here. Yeah, and it's my fault why we never did before. Yeah, why? She was kind of a little bit nervous, I think. And I don't know. I'm worried. A little concerned, worried. Concerned. Super about, concerned. And about just uh, overthinking things. I'm just an over natural but person. It's not, but I was just explain that. It's not about what people think. It's as long as we have fun and we do good content for people that want to see it. Because I know it's going to be a lot of people that tune in. As long as we do that, it doesn't matter what people think. People it actually wasn't, negatives. actually not that many people tuned in. Their views on this video is not that great. And maybe it's because it's on her channel. Maybe on Chris's, maybe on Chris's channel, it might, the views might spike up a little bit. But y'all are late. <laughs> y'all should have done this a long time ago. Those views would have been higher. But well, it's okay that's though. Whatever, but that's not, it doesn't matter, you know. It's not on our time. Pain, it ain't in our time. As long as we're having fun, as long as you guys are entertaining the video, that's all that matters, guys. So comment down below if we should do more videos. Yes, because and I want to see more of this flirting. We do. That's very important. So comment down below what videos a challenge. you want us to do. Do a challenge. And the most... Play a game. Uh, comment video. <gasps> that's the video we're going to do. I know what video. I already have an idea. Okay. Love you guys. Hold on. Finish up the video real quick. Y'all should do the um, touch me challenge. What's it called? You know when you're blindfolded and you have to figure out what body part you're touching? Ooh, that will be spicy. All right, you guys, tell me what you thought about this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.